Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. Do keep in mind guys, these reads are for entertainment purposes only. So take what speaks, leave what doesn't apply. Um, for those of you who find the reading does resonate for you, feel free to let me know by liking and or subscribing to my channel if you haven't already done so. For those of you who are new here, um, you may not be aware that I'm also over on Instagram where I do offer general readings over on that platform. Feel free to go and check those readings out. There may be a message over there waiting for you and I would love for you to connect with me on that platform. So, alrighty, Capricorn, we're just going to dive on in and see what's coming through for you in love and relationship in the upcoming days and week. I am using the Wild Unknown Tarot deck for this particular, for the main part of the read, and we'll draw some extra tarot cards and oracle cards towards the very end, just to draw in some extra messages that you might need to know regarding your special person or the person that you are thinking of. All right, so first card coming through is the Daughter of Pentacles. You may be dealing with too many cards. You know what? I'll take them. You may be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You've got the world, you've got the Six of Cups, you've got the Lovers, and you've got the Two of Wands. Okay. You could be dealing with a Gemini also here, but I feel like someone's in two minds. Someone's in two minds when it comes to a special connection. You've got at the bottom of the deck the Hermit card, which it could be quite possible that you're dealing with a Virgo here. Uh, but the overall energy tells me that someone is in seclusion right now. Or someone is keeping very quiet right now. Um, the Hermit is a time of introspection and reflection. Or needing to just go within and work out what one truly wants. Or what one truly needs. Okay. I feel like there could be, I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles and the Hermit, it feels here that someone is doing the work on themselves. Someone's doing the inner work. Someone's trying to um, create the, the space so they can work on themselves, so they can become a better person. So I feel like someone here is just taking time out to improve themselves or better themselves. Um, you know, just to, there's someone here doing their own thing here. Okay, this could be a twin flame connection with the lover's card. I'm getting a strong twin flame energy. With the daughter of pentacles, it could be someone, it could be a fairly new um, connection that you've met. You, like you've just recently met this person or there's something about this connection that feels fresh to me. It feels fresh. And I feel, Capricorn, you're going to learn a lot about yourself through this specific dynamic that you have with this person. Now, the Daughter of Pentacles, because this is your energy too, and this is learning energy right here. So I feel like because it's sitting above the lovers, I feel like this is a connection um, that you're going to learn a lot about yourself. Maybe this person has triggered you into doing um, some growth, spiritual growth here on yourself. And I feel like with the Magician here that you're going to do you're going to manifest a better you, okay? Um, I feel with the world card here, Capricorn, that there is some kind of distance between you and this person. Maybe this person is currently traveling or is interstate. Uh, maybe you can only contact them via email or phone. 
um, telephone communications or text message, but I do feel like there is some kind of distance between you and this person, okay, which is triggering you into spiritual growth or spiritual development, learning more about yourself here. What's really interesting is with the Six of Pentacles, I feel like you're both currently going through um, this growth. And I'm looking at these Two of Wands and I just feel like it's, it's a shared, it's something shared. It's something that you're both going through. Typically, the Two of Wands speaks to, you know, coming to some kind of a crossroad. I feel like these Two Wands are leading to the same road. <laughs> um, so I feel like, you know, you are one of these ones, your specific or special person is the other one and it's leading to, it's all leading into the same direction. So I feel like you're both heading into the same direction. Okay. You've got the nine of cups here as well, which does speak to wish, wishes being fulfilled. So I feel here that you both want the same thing. Even though your person might not be communicating that or showing that right now. You both want the same thing. However, you both still need to currently um, work on yourself. On yourselves. So let's get some more messages around your specific person. I do feel like with the lovers card here, I do see communication with the lovers in the world. So I do see some communication on the cards, especially if, um, you know, you and your special person haven't been talking a lot recently. Perhaps with the hermit card, your special person has withdrawn or gone silent. But I do see communication here on the cards or alternatively, you both do want to you know, come together and, and communicate and talk to each other here. Um, the Daughter of Pentacles can speak to um, a message coming your way. Okay, so your person's coming through as the Buffalo Spirit in the upcoming days and week. I do get strong Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here, but I feel like your person is wanting to feel more grounded I, I i when i look at this buffalo it speaks to someone who is spiritually and physically aligned like earthly like spiritually and earthly aligned okay so it's like the spiritual meets the earth and it just comes together and it creates this beautiful alignment so I feel like this person is spiritual yet very grounded at the same time. Or this is what they're um, aiming for. There is an awareness coming through. There's an awareness or an awakening occurring around your special person. Because I see the lightning strike as symbolic message for awakening or awareness or, or becoming enlightened about this connection or possibly about themselves. Okay, too many cards. I didn't feel drawn to take those. Sorry for any background noise, guys. I forgot to shut my back door. Okay, two cards want to come out. This is really unusual. Got the cosmic and egg and the phoenix. Yeah, so how I'm seeing this, look, these two cards are spiritual. So I feel like this person can sense that you and them, this is a spiritual connection. Absolutely. They are undergoing some kind of major, major transformation or changes. Um, and even with the cosmic egg, we see this snake wrapping around the egg and it's ascending. So there's definitely growth. Uh, positive developments taking place within your spe special person. I do feel like this person perhaps has hit some kind of rock bottom or has just hit a really low point in their life. Um, and so they're at this point where they just, they're waking up to themselves. Okay, they're waking up to themselves. They know they need to improve. They know they need to change. Um, 
they know they need to learn to perhaps maybe communicate better or yeah there's a lot of learning uh taking place in this connection interesting three of swords I feel like this learning that is taking place for your special person has come from pain, is triggered from pain. Usually uh, the only way we can get humans to move uh, and take action sometimes is through pain, sadly. You know, sometimes when we're so uncomfortable, it can be the thing that triggers us into growth. And I feel like your person has experienced maybe um, pain or sadness. Perhaps they've been cheated on. Um, but I do see your person suffering some kind of broken heart. Um, maybe they had their heart broken here. And this person is... And, and this, this broken heart is triggering them to become a better person. Sadly. That's how it works for some people. Okay, we want one more card and then we'll close out your reading. Okay, this one wants to come through. Page of Cups. Could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but the Page of Cups is a very sensitive soul, is a very sensitive person. I feel like you're dealing with someone here who is very, very uh, sensitive emotionally, um, can easily get hurt, okay? This person is, I'm getting a very soft, sensitive soul kind of energy coming from this particular person. I do feel like they're very spiritual or they're spiritually inclined. I do feel like this person, um, how do I want to put it? There's an element of daydreaming coming in with this person. So maybe they like to escape their reality by looking at life through rose tinted glasses. Um, but I feel here they need to work on that. Okay, because that's like a, an emotionally immature place to, um, or it's, it's an emotionally immature way to handle um, things. This person knows they can't keep escaping or blocking out or numbing out the reality. Okay. But I do feel like this person fantasizes about you, uh, Capricorn. So if there is uh, little to no communication right now, I do feel like this person thinks about you. Um, they daydream about you or they fantasize what they can have with you here. I do feel like this is a sensitive person, a, a very romantic, like a strong uh, romantic um, at heart. And I do feel like there is some message coming through with this person. Okay, so expect some kind of communication uh, coming from this person over the next week or two or until I release my next video here. Uh, but that's all I have for you, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed this. And until next time, take care.